Okay, we are on the last activity of this course. So you know they're stretching your brain to apply all of the things you've learned in new ways. So we're gonna go slow and be careful as we look at our directions and see what we have to do. Use four, so we're gonna have some four loops, probably for P and penguins, to look for the penguins that can help. There we go. Those wearing glasses, so this is our um, if, and our Boolean, so if they're wearing glasses or a bow tie, and then we're gonna move them 10 steps. All right. Ah, but we've also got a four stepper. So, and we saw this for loop, this loop will run first on the goat, then on the monkey. So, and they put their um, already indented. So remember we started, we know we need a four P in penguins. We're going to start by adding that um, for loop. So for P and penguins. So for all of the penguin penguins, we're going to check and see if they have glasses or a bow tie. So we need an if. If P has glasses or P, I always forget that letter, <laughs> well, not always, has bow tie, but I tend to forget that. Because if we were talking, we wouldn't say if the penguin has glasses or if the penguin has a bow tie, we would say if the penguin has glasses or a bow tie. So for me, skipping that P is something I, I tend to do. All right, so if it has either of those, then P will step 10. They already told us that. And then we know our stepper will step 20. And our stepper, they already put it in the right place for us, but just notice, these are good things to notice. Our stepper is in the 4P and penguins. So, Once all that happens, for each one, they'll step. So let's run it and see where we get. Look at that. Before you move on to the next course, Remember to go back and check that you don't have any one-star solutions.